Join me on this eight mile circular kayak from Pembroke Dock to La Rainey Quay and back on the Clairdoy River in Pembrokeshire on the 16th of September 2021. If you like kayaking and are interested in the Clairdoy River, then watch on for cinematic footage of the amazing scenery on this route that I kayaked and learn about what I encountered on this route together with practical information about kayaking in this area. Stick around to the end for bonus content to help you if you are interested in kayaking this route, including logistics such as parking, transport, launch and landing locations, what equipment are used, recommendations for pubs and restaurants on this route, information about tides, currents and other safety issues, links to maps, guides and other information about exploring this route, and also about the amazing Clairdoy River and its many tributaries generally. Hi, I'm Carlos, captain of the kayak crew. We are obsessed with kayaking and we are vlogging and blogging our exciting kayak journeys in which we explore the Clairdoy River, the Wales coast, the River Wye and many other routes. If you are new here, then remember to click that subscribe button. There are links in the description box below to any links referenced in the video. So let's jump into the video of my kayak from Hobbs Point at Pembroke Dock to Low Rainy Key and back on the Clairdoy River. So I've parked up at uh, Hobbs Point car park in Pembroke Dock, uh, just overlooking the Clairdoy River. So there's a uh, good ample park in here and that's the slipway down onto the water itself. Well, this is the view downstream, looking down the Clairdoy from Hobbs Point car park, down towards the oil refineries and terminals at uh, towards Milford Haven. With a backdrop of me inflated my kayak on the slipway, I will explain the route. I launched from the slipway at Hobbs Point car park and headed upstream under the Clairdoy bridge. I passed the entrance to Cocheston Pill and then paddled up past the heavily wooded Mill Bay. I got to Low Rainy Key at the mouth of the Creswell River at about 2.45pm. I then turned round and came back downstream, hugging the east bank again before crossing over to the west bank near to Burton Ferry. Paddling back under the Clairdoy Bridge, I skirted past the entrance to Nayland Marina before crossing back over to Hobbs Point Car Park on the east bank. So I'm just setting off from Hobbs Point in Pembroke Dock, looking up towards the Clairdoy Bridge upstream. That's looking across towards Nayland Marina, and uh, you can see the slipway on the left that I've just set off from. I'm looking back downstream towards the uh, slipway on the left at Hobbs Point, and you can see the Pembroke to Rosslea Ferry down there. That uh, goes back and forth to Ireland. So Pembroke Dock is on the east bank of the Clairdoy. I'm looking across towards the, the west bank over there, towards Nayland. Uh, brightly coloured Georgian houses uh, nestling on the on the hill above Nayland. So it's uh, just before one o'clock and I'm heading upstream, heading northwards up the Clairdoy, uh, towards the Clairdoy Bridge. Uh, the wind is coming up from the south behind me, or the southwest actually. You can see the Clairdoy Bridge coming up. Uh, that's the road bridge connecting the, the west and east banks of the Clairdoy. Uh, it also has a cycle track and a uh, footpath that you can cross over on. Yeah, so that's the uh, the very impressive Clairdoy Bridge. Uh, I was saying about the, the cycle track that you can cross over on. There's a very good cycle route that goes from Pembroke Castle over the bridge and all the way up then to um, Halford West and back. So I just passed under the bridge and uh, coming up on the right uh, on the east bank is the Ferry Inn. Looks like a great pub with a, a beer garden out looking out over the water. I'll have to try and call in there when I'm down this way next and give it a try. I'm just passing the ferry in. You can see the bridge in the background. Uh, it looks like a great place to pull up your kayak and pop in for a quick beer. So I'm looking southwards back downstream towards the bridge and uh, Nayland in the background there. Coming up with the tide. It's supposed to be high tide about uh, half past three, I think. So I passed under the Clairdoy Bridge and heading northwards upstream. 
over there on the left you can see Burton and that large structure I think is called Trinity Wharf. Looks like there's uh, somebody water skiing behind that speedboat over there, just in front of Trinity Wharf and uh, Burton Ferry over on the west bank. Oops, looks like they've uh, fallen in. So, so these uh, strange structures look like disused jetties of some sort over on the, the east bank. Uh, it looks like they haven't been used for years. So I'm about uh, one and a half miles upstream from Pembroke Dock. You can see uh, the entrance to Cautious and Pill coming up on the, the right hand side. There's a, a slipway and a parking area, which is uh, supposed to be a good launch point. Uh, so coming up with the tide, I remember the clather is tidal, so it's best to come up or down with the tide. So I'll try not to crash into this beacon. That's the slipway at um, the, by the car park at the end of Warrior Way. Uh, I think it's called the Clare They Reach Car Park. Looks like a good launch point there. So this is the uh, the entrance to Cautiston Pill. The village of Cautiston is in the distance over there. Uh, the the pill is one of the tributaries to the Clare Day, and I think it runs for about um, one and a half, two miles up to Cautiston. It's very tidal, um, it's quite sheltered up there though, more sheltered than the main channel. So I'm having a bit of a breather looking upstream, a northerly direction. Uh, it's my first kayak on the Clare River and I've got to say that I'm really impressed with it so far. It's quite different from other rivers that I've kayaked on. Um, it doesn't really feel like an estuary, uh, it's kind of more like a, a rear, like a big flooded valley. So I've just spotted a couple of the resident swans on the Clathay over there. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got any swan feed for them. So just a quick uh, 360 looking downstream, uh, down towards the entrance to Cautious and Pill on the left. And you've got the Clathay Bridge spanning the river down there in the southerly direction. And then swinging back to the north, uh, the direction I'm going in towards Low Rennie. Let's uh, head on upstream. So my plan is to get to Lorraine Key uh, just before high tide and then turn around and come back downstream with the outgoing tide. As you can see the Clether is a, is a wide river. It does gradually get narrower as you go upstream but um, even here it's probably almost half a mile wide and down by Pembroke Dock it was about um, two thirds of a mile wide at least. As you can see, the, the area is quite heavily wooded here, looking up towards Mill Bay on the right hand side. And uh, you can actually get out for most of it, it's quite rocky and firm. I just spotted some fellow kayakers over there, a group of them over by Mill Bay over on the east bank. I will say that the, the wind is uh, helping me, it's coming up from the southwest. Uh, so it's pushing me upstream together with the tide, although uh, when I turn around, I have the wind against me. You can see Low Rainy Key up there on the right of the picture. Uh, on the left, that white tower is Benton Castle. So that white speedboat over there seems to have been all over the river this afternoon. Uh, mostly uh, pulling somebody water skiing behind it. So Lorraine Key uh, next stop. Yeah, it looks like there's uh, the wake of the speedboat is coming across, so it's uh, it's gonna get quite wavy in a second. Here we go. <laughs> Bit like being on the sea now. Uh, yeah, Benton Castle is quite distinct. That tower on the left up there. Whoop! There's the wake. <laughs> So I'm almost at La Rainy Key, which kind of sits at the entrance to the Creswell River, Creswell and Cairo Rivers, which are tributaries off of the uh, the Clairdoy. So we're just coming off now into the Creswell River, which um, runs up towards La Rainy Key on the left there. You can see the the boatyard, that, um, that big green building. I've only been here, I think, once before when I was walking in this area. So I can remember the rough layout, you know, with the Low Rainy Arms pub and the, um, I think there's a cafe or tea room here. 
and some parking as well. Uh, so I'm sl slightly ahead of schedule coming to Lower Any Key. It's about uh, half past two. Uh, the tide will be turning in, I think, about um, about 20 past three ish. Uh, so this is Lower Any Key. Yeah, you've got the, the Creswell River and the Cairo River flow into the um, into the Clairdai just uh, upstream from here at uh, Lorraine Key. It's a beachy area on the left and um, that's where the tea room is. So on the left over there you can see the, the big pontoon that comes out from the Lorraine Arms pub at uh, Lorraine Key. It's a great pub. And that um, slipway there is for the boatyard. So that's the Low Rainy Arms pub over there. I uh, called in there when I came down walking in this area. It's a really good pub right on the river. So a great kayakers pub. Oh, so I've had a little bit of a, a rest at uh, Low Rainy Key. Didn't actually get out though. <laughs> um, that's um, Benton Castle over there, that white tower. And uh, a quick spin around before I head downstream. So looking north up the Clare, I could carry on up there another nine miles or so probably, uh, but I'm not going to. I'm going to turn around and head back south, back in the direction of Pembroke Dock. There's a heron over there doing some fishing, looking for uh, fish in the shallows. Because the wind is coming up the Clare from the southwest, I'm going to hug the, uh, the east bank for a while, it's more sheltered, until I get lower downstream. So I'm heading downstream, uh, the tide should be turning about now. Uh, this is Mill Bay on the left, heavily wooded. I'm looking across to the uh, western bank over there. So this little inlet is Mill Bay on the uh, eastern side of the Clareye. Very heavily wooded. Yeah, many of the banks uh, on this side of the Clare, at least, are very steep and um, quite firm and rocky, so you could get out and have a stop if you wanted to, which I probably will. Yeah, if you're doing this circular kayak, then it's best to come up with the tide, get to Low Rainy Key just before high tide, and then head back down with the outgoing tide, like I'm doing. So I'm going to head downstream and cross over to the western bank over there. That's um, over towards Burton Ferry, where there's a marina and uh, a pub called the Jolly Sailor. Uh, you can just about see the bridge coming back into view down to the south. Just stop for a little breather to look uh, back upstream to the north. Yeah, so you've got to factor in the wind as well on this uh, river, because it is quite a broad open valley. So this marina near to Burton on the west bank has got a lot of boats. Uh, generally, there's been a lot of boats going back and forth on the Clairdai, so uh, you've got to keep your wits about you. Uh, so these waves are the, the wake from another faster moving boat. Most of the boats are fairly slow, to be honest, but the fast ones do chuck up a bit of a swell. Uh, there's quite a nice view from here looking back upstream to the north. Lots of boats uh, outside of the little marina at Burton. So uh, let's head on down to the Clareye Bridge. So I'm right next to uh, Trinity Wharf on the west bank, uh, which is uh, just upstream from Burton Ferry. Uh, so as I pass uh, Trinity Wharf, it's a good view of some uh, lovely properties overlooking the river. On the right hand side, um, heading down towards Burton Ferry, you can see the Clareye Bridge that I'm going to pass back and uh, on the way back. So this main channel of the Clareye is known as the Eastern Clareye, or in Welsh the Clareye Wen, meaning white, so it's the white Clareye. Um, a lot further upstream it uh, forks off and um, part of it goes off to the north and becomes the Western Clareye, it goes up to Harford West. Uh, so that's the Jolly Sailor pub in um, Burton Ferry with its uh, the pontoon that uh, I'm sure you could use if you were drinking or eating there. 
was passing underneath the Clethai Bridge. Uh, it used to be a toll bridge. It's a small fee to uh, cross, but it's um, it's free now. Another great view back up north. Uh, as you can see, it's more sort of uh, wooded and rural north of Pembroke Dock. And as you go south from Pembroke Dock, uh, a bit more industrial with the oil refineries. Uh, just on the right, coming up at Nylon Marina, you've got Westfield Pill, which is um, a river, another little tributary that goes for about a mile or so up to a um, nature reserve. Nice little run. So uh, I've just stopped you in front of the entrance to Nylon Marina. That's looking up towards Westfield Pill. As you can see, there's um, lots of boats in the marina. The marina building is, uh, you can just see the roof of it over there on the left hand side. So you can go about a mile up there and back. Uh, so there's a boat there coming into Nylon Marina with a backdrop of the Clethai Bridge. Um, I'm not going to go up uh, Westfield Pill today, up, uh, up towards Nylon Marina. Leave that for another day. Um, so I'm going to head back over the river now. It's uh, about two thirds of a mile uh, across to Pembroke Dock on the other side. At Nayland, I've uh, zoomed in on the camera, looking across towards Hobbs Point. You can see the slipway. I've got to cross over the river now, back to the east. Uh, so it's quite a slightly daunting crossing, because uh, it's quite wide here, and there's been a few boats going back and forth, but uh, just give them a bit of a wide berth, that's all. <laughs> so I'm at the end, I'm uh, back over now on the uh, east bank at um, Hobbs Point. Just about to get out, looking back over to the Nayland and back to the bridge. Great kayak. Well, I'm back at the car park at Hobbs Point in Pembroke Dock, and uh, that was my first kayak on the Clethay River, and it certainly won't be the last. What a fantastic river. This kayak was very easy from a logistical point of view. There is good parking at Hobbs Point in Pembroke Dock, and the slipway there gives easy access to the river for launching and landing, other than when the water level is very low, uh, at like under 1.5 metres, when apparently there's a drop off at the end of the slipway at Hobbs Point. Remember, all of the Clethay River is tidal. If you are looking to land or launch at Low Rainy Quay, then I should point out that when I look to launch from the foreshore there on a subsequent kayak, the area seemed to be quite restricted by the boatyard, with signs saying landing or launching of any craft, including canoes, was prohibited. However, I found that the best place to land and launch at Low Rainy Quay was the long pontoon next to the Low Rainy Arms pub, since the pontoon can be used even if the tide is quite low. Note though that it's for patrons of the pub, so if you are parking in the pub's car park, I would let them know that you are using the pontoon and will call in for drinks and or food upon your return. Regarding the equipment used, I used a Pro Aqua inflatable kayak on this route. This was a brand of kayak that the kayak crew used from 2016 when we started kayaking until about late 2021. The kayak crew have since progressed to hybrid kayaks with drop stitch floors and tubular PVC sides. And we've also progressed to full drop stitch inflatable kayaks, both of which are several levels up from the old Pro Aquas. We have a separate video entirely about the progression of us using better types of inflatable kayaks. Regarding options for pubs and restaurants on this route, the Lorraine Arms in Lorraine Quay is the perfect kayakers pub. Not only is it very welcoming and right on the river's edge, but it even has its own pontoon which goes out for about 150 metres onto the river. I did call into the Lorraine Arms for a beer on a subsequent occasion when I kayaked up the river to Carew Castle from Lorraine Quay and the pub was absolutely awesome. The Ferry Inn near Pembroke Dock also looks like a great waterside pub just upstream of the Clethay Bridge on the east side of the river. It looks like a nice place to pull up your kayak onto the beach and grab a beer which you can drink on the terrace overlooking the river. I kayak past the Jolly Sailor at Burton Ferry on the return route downstream and noted that there was a pontoon going out onto the river just outside the pub. 
The River Cladai is a large river system which also includes a number of tributaries and this offers around or about 15 or so options for kayaks by our reckoning. The kayak crew are kayaking every section of the Cladai River together with its tributaries and of course we have logged in all of our journeys so subscribe to get updates as we upload them. The Eastern Cladai in Welsh known as the Cladai Wen meaning the White Cladai comprises the main channel. The Eastern Cladai widens significantly downstream from Pembroke Dock. The Eastern Cladai has a more rural character upstream of Pembroke Dock. The Eastern Cladai is roughly 22 miles from Blackpool Mill all the way down to Dale on the west side and Angle on the east side where it opens out into the sea. The Western Cleddai, known in Welsh as the Cleddai V, meaning Black Cleddai, can be kayaked from Harford West down to where it joins the Eastern Cleddai at Picton Point, a distance of about six miles. Although this map shows the best landing or launching point, which is at Black Tar if you're doing the Western Cleddai. Cautiston Pill is a tributary of the Eastern Cleddai which is about 1.8 miles long, running from the village of Cautiston down to where it joins the Cleddai at the Cleddai Reach Car Park. The Carew River runs for about 2.5 miles from Lowrainy Quay up to the magnificent Carew Castle and Tidal Mill. Note though that it splits off into separate pills which can also be explored, namely Ford Pill and Radford Pill which extend a possible paddling route by another mile or so. The Creswell River joins the Cairo River near Lowrainy Quay and runs up to Creswell Quay, a distance of just over three miles. Note that there is an excellent pub at Creswell Quay, which can be stopped off at before the return route back down to Lowrainy Quay. Westfield Pill runs for just under a mile from Westfield Pill Nature Reserve down through Nayland Marina to where it joins the River Cleddai. Most of the pill is in fact comprised of Nayland Marina itself and it's a very pleasant little detour off the Cleddai. The Pembroke River runs from the moat of the incredible Pembroke Castle down to where it joins the Eastern Cleddai at Penar Point, a distance of about three miles. Note that with the tributaries of the Cleddai, much of them become exposed sand and mud banks to ours, or so either side of low tide. Please subscribe to keep up to date with our updates and new videos added to our channel. We are adding videos of further kayaks we are doing on a weekly basis, covering our exploration of the Cleddai River, the Wales coast, the Wye River, the Tyvee River and more including also product reviews and guides to areas that we kayak. Please check out our website at www.kayakcrew.co.uk for blogs of our kayaking journeys together with product reviews, interactive maps, guides and loads of other useful information. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and consider clicking on the subscribe button on the left to get updates on our new videos as we add them to our channel. If you want to see more of our videos about kayak in the River Cleddai, then click on the button for our playlist about the Cleddai on the right. We are regularly adding videos to this as we explore more of this fantastic river system. Happy and safe paddling from the kayak crew.